G'day and welcome to my garage. I'm starting now to um, drill the adapter plate. I've drilled the first pilot hole three millimetre in the centre and this plate's already been drilled. Now it can be mounted in anywhere around on this plate but I have a I have it mapped out here for the holes so I'm going to try and stick with that. So let's put this back on here again. Now what I've already done is first scribed an arc, taken that off, confirmed the arc is on the previous arc I did with the scriber, with the divider. I have centre punched it. And I'll just do it again to give it a heavier punch. If I can find the punch, that's, that's the pop one. Where's the heavy one? There is, there it is. That's it there, so it lines up, we're in the right place, I'll uh, go and drill this one through so I can use this 3mm to peg that in place, then I will come back. These are supposed to be M8, but I'll make them M6, there's four of those, but I'll do one first, uh, drill it, tap it, counter bore it, counter sink it because I'll be using M6 countersinks where to check my inventory uh, and then I'll have a fixed position and a centre peg I can then go around and drill all the other, all the other holes so let me do that well the two pilot ho holes are finished I drilled this one out to an M6 threaded it just fitting in the bolt now and that will give me well that will fix those two plates those two members together I have to put a piece of timber underneath this now because of that head but now I can um, I'll leave the centre one in I can drill these others these others out. I'll do these other three. I'll leave that one in also to make sure and then once those four are in then I'll drill the uh, posts out to the appropriate size. Right I have the first, mach first machining operation on these two castings. Uh, I know in the I'm not following the gingery way, mainly because of the, <coughs> the lathe that I've got. I don't have the hub on the back or the, uh, the one inch spindle or whatever it was. I can't remember. So what I'm, what I'm, I found that the casting on the back of this back plate was uh, pretty, pretty good and the pads were a bit rough in places so I'm electing to machine these pads first to get that true then I'll spin it around machine the back and work it out from there um, the height of these pads is between 3 quarters and um, 13, 16 so that's uh, 20 to 21.7 we'll say 22 currently I am at 
22. I've only taken a few thou off this. Uh, that is hard to say. Oh, that's, that's better. So, yeah, I'm about, about 22. I'll take it down to 20. What did I say that measurement was? 13 sixteenths is 20.6. So let's um, let's give this a. I know it's not running true, but I'm not interested in that at the present moment. It's looking good. Currently we're at uh, 22. Nate, take another 20,000 cut. It's 10. That's half a millimeter. Wow. I'm, use, I'm using the uh, compound slide, so it's not even that. Of course, this operation is done with the carriage in the locked position, courtesy of the new lock that I've installed. Uh, 20.5 looks like it. Yeah, it's about 20.5. So, they all came up beautiful. I can now turn it around and uh, do the, the other face. <clears throat> I'm facing off the back here. Uh, it's not concentric, but that's all right. I'll uh, worry about that when I put the steel backing plate uh, onto this surface. set up, put the, uh, the steel backing plate on that. Okay, leave that with me. But it shifted, I had it at one at one time and it shifted. So, I will leave, I will leave it at that and um, lighting's terrible. I'll leave it at that and do the uh, bore the hole in the center and then bore also the bore a hole all the way through uh, probably 20 mil uh, because it will be the guide for the front plate Keep. I'm just taking 10 power cuts sorry I'm blocking your uh, view but um, I might put you off the way All right. 
let's have a look at this. Looks good. Just uh, clean that edge off. pretty good. to reposition this. This uh, compound slide was coming back too far and it was getting pretty loose. So I just repositioned it a bit. I can still only take small cuts. But I think this is a bit too small. Let's have a look. So I've got a little bit there to come out still. How's it looking to the posts? It's a long, long way in compared to the other three. Anyhow, I'll go a little bit more, but not much. The memory card is full on the main camera, so I'm using this funny little $23 camera. Okay, the last drill was a 8mm. Uh, this is a 14 This hole has to eventually go out to 20, 20 mil, and then 55 in the steel. Okay, boring bar for the rest.
It's going to be a little while yet. I have to bring this to 55 mil. I am um, oh, about 1.8 mil off at the moment. It is uh, 54.17 Seventh, uh, let me ask 7 54.7 3 I'll give it a, a quarter of a foul, half a um, foul middle maker Fit yet, and now I've got to watch out. Now I've got to watch out that these bolts, these heads, don't hit this. Very, very close. Let's take about about four and a half there. We'll, uh, we'll make a five there. Bit over now on fifty five point one, about four fell over. these nuts is holding it. Beautiful. It fits. Fits very nicely too. Now that they're going to be an issue. They're going. They have to be uh, 
Cancel sunk. Cancel sunk false. All right. Save that four meter sword out. I'm just counter boring uh, all four holes here. So I've got clearance when I uh, mount it onto the lathe spindle because I had I had to make sure that the flats were pointing to the spindle <laughs> so I could get the thing over the flange. Okay, I will, I will continue on, I will continue on with this. I have to do the three stud positions for this to mount to the lathe spindle. Uh, so with the help of the wiggler, I found this, the centre of the large 55 millimetre hole and using the um, uh, coordinates method I'm going to plot out the three positions now I can't well I can but the the head's not properly secured in the ways if I go right to the top so what I'm doing is uh, the top one here which is half the radius of the uh, it, it is the radius of the hole so it's uh, actually not the hole the radius of the PCD PCD is 66 so it's uh, 33 millimeters down from center yep I'm on 33 I'll uh, take the wiggler out and spot that with the drill then I'll come up back to zero and then go um, 66 times a quarter so it's 33 that's uh, 15 point something I'll get the calculator out and then I have to come across B which is 66 times 0.4310 4301 I should say. Anyhow, I shall do it by the coordinates method, method and that coordinates method is in the black book. Expensive but very handy. Right, lift this up in the bring it back to zero which was passed a bit and then we've got to come up an extra 16.5 lock that and it will probably move yep And then we've got to come across 28.5. So this one, unlock. And we'll drill that. 
come back over. Well, that didn't work out. I've had trouble with that edge finder before. Doesn't, doesn't like this machine. But that bottom one there is a little further away than the other two. But the coordinate system worked out correctly. So, the coordinate system was right. It was, I didn't have the, didn't have the edge. So, we'll do it another way. Scrap that, um, scrap this thing for some reason. I don't know why. Anyhow, I'll find another way.